Welcome to the Denver City Council meeting of Monday, May 4th, and we're with you. Uh, spending nearly all of my day on online and um, virtual meetings. We were playing around with virtual images and kind of feeling like they fell short, even our own pictures as backgrounds. Hi there, I'm Jamie Torres. I am the city council person for District 3, which is West Denver. And so I, I felt like there are so many views from District 3 that are meaningful and beautiful and reflective of who we are, which is a bright and vibrant and dynamic uh, group of people, that I really wanted to see that reflected and people be able to put that up as their background. I um, had met Armando last year during a lowrider cruise and he took such fantastic pictures. My name is Armando Gennaro and I am a freelance photographer here in Denver. I do both private and commercial work, but I guess what you can say that I'm really more known for in my time here is my street level photography. Uh, over the years, I've really tried to capture the, capture and document the, the black and brown experience. Representation is important to me and be, being able to represent them as powerful and, and deeply rooted uh, into the fabric of the city is a, is a responsibility that I don't, I don't take lightly. His lens on community is really unique and one that I wanted uh, to see if he, if he would be willing to do this, and he was. I, I thought it was a, a super creative way um, to engage an artist like myself. A lot of my professional uh, photography work involves being in, in big crowds. So quite a few of my gigs have been either uh, canceled or, or postponed until uh, further notice. And he created some just really fantastic pictures of what it might be like to be sitting in front of a mural or at the top of Barnum Park uh, or walking down Federal Boulevard. Um, anywhere where you might be in West Denver, that's exactly what it would look like. There's a heavy Latino and Chicano uh, presence in District 3. When there's so much public art that's so so dope and so you know culturally rich um it really makes my job as a photographer easier so um just really thank him and um thank uh, the district three community for giving us such wonderful environment and um situations to, to photograph i've gotten a lot of support uh, a lot of people have been reaching out and and saying how much they appreciate uh, my point of view and perspective what I think is really important to note is that, you know, District 3 is, is a district that's really uh, working class. A lot of its residents don't necessarily have the luxury to shelter in place. They have essential jobs that, that serve the community. Sun Valley is also in District 3, and, and that's one of the poorest neighborhoods in the city. So for folks in that neighborhood who can't go to work or school during these times, it's especially stressful and, and taxing. There's also a large immigrant community in District 3 that that don't get like a stimulus check. Um, so I think it's important to acknowledge those those folks and, and kind of keep the health and safety of, of our neighbors who aren't as fortunate um, to keep, really keep that in mind.